everybody. Uh, just checking in today. Uh, so my fiance and I have finally set a date and we are getting married in June. So the content I think is going to continue to be slow because I have to sew my wedding dress, do all the planning nonsense and make centerpieces and blah 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 because I'm very much all about that DIY life. Uh, and I might uh, catch some of that on video, is like maybe the hope. Um, but that is not a promise. Uh, the next six months are going to be <laughs> busy for me. Real busy. But I had some time today, so here I am checking in, making shadows on the wall. I <laughs> just noticed the shadows. Whoops. Uh, oh well. It's ongoing lighting saga. Anyway, I figured I'd just do, uh, I have, I have one blind, blind bag toy to do, but I figured I'd just do, like, the holidays just happened, I mean, I know it's literally January 10th, 11th? I lost a day. Today might be the 11th. Who knows when you'll actually see this video, though. It might be the 12th. It might be today. Who knows? I'm not a very reliable content creator. But yeah, the holidays just happened. I figured not everything I got, but just like a couple of like little things that I got for the holidays uh, as as gifts, and then and then the blind blind pack toy. Um, cause like my mom got me this adorable little pouch with these cute little unicorns on them. Let's. Yeah, yeah, it's metallic and the lights are not playing super great with it, but yeah! Cute little unicorns, nice little bag, I haven't put anything in it yet, I haven't even taken the tag off, you know. But it's super cute and I don't, I don't have a plan for it yet. Um, that went far. <laughs> Um, and the, the other thing my mother got me that I'm going to show you guys is she got me the Buffy the Vampire Slayer coloring book. I'm probably not going to color in it and just look at it forever. Um, some of these are really good. Some of them are not what I expected. Because um, usually these like adult coloring books, you expect like big fancy patterning. And some of them are literally just... Sorry, I just flipped by it. Hold on. Oh, I just saw it. Like, some of them are literally just screenshots from the show. Sort of redrawn. Uh, and that's, it's like not what I expected um, from a coloring book. Although there are some fun things, like this chibi page. And that's super fun. Um, I have already done the thing that I hate and curled the cover, and I'm kind of mad about that because I specifically try not to do that. I hate... The thing about me is I hate curled covers and broken spines, so I try not to break the spines and curl the covers of my books, and yet that's what happens when you use a book. So it happens all the time, and it's very frustrating, and I read all of my books like this. Just like, eh, I'm trying not to open it. <laughs> And yet, I never succeed. It's just one of my little quirks. And then, uh, my aunt actually gave me, she gave me, um, these flamingo, uh, leggings that I, I'm not gonna go, I wore them already, so they're probably in the laundry or whatever, I'm not gonna go dig them out. But, uh, these socks were laying out, she also gave me these, these flamingo floaty socks, and they're so cute. They've got the little, the little glitter wing, it's so adorable. She gave me that, and then, um, also a gift card. With which I purchased, I actually, for my fiancé, I mean, for both of us, but, like, for my fiancé, Deadpool 2. Because we had Deadpool 1. We saw them both in theaters. Um, they're, like, the only superhero movies we can agree on. Like, I hated Civil War. He loved Civil War. I liked Infinity War. He hated it on first watch. He actually likes it better now that he's seen it, like, two or three times. But the first time in the theater when we were watching it, I was sitting there having a ball because, I mean, it's not a good movie in my opinion, but it's like a hilarious fun ride. <laughs> but he was just sitting there getting mad. 
the whole time. And it was so funny because it was the exact opposite of our experience. We saw Civil War in the theater too. And I was just sitting there going like, this movie is stupid. Why are we here? And he was just like, shut up. I like it. So it was, it was just really funny. Um, but he, he feels differently about it upon further viewings. Um, but it'll never not be funny that he hated it and I loved it. <laughs> um, but Deadpool, Deadpool we always both agreed on that like, yeah, this is good and we like it. <laughs> it's just the one thing we agree on. Um, and then the other thing I bought was I saw, of course, the Blu-ray DVD pack of the new My Little Pony movie and the old My Little Pony movie. And because, because I was a child of the 90s and not the 80s, um, and also because of other reasons. I have seen the original My Little Pony movie many, many times, but it was as a rental. I never, ever owned it. But now I own it. Yay! <laughs> and I actually, I... This is bad. I'm never home, so I never have time to watch a movie, so I actually haven't seen the new My Little Pony movie yet. <laughs> but it's here, and I own it, so I'm gonna see it soon. I just haven't yet because I commute to four hours a day. But that's everything that's like holiday gift haul or whatever. And then what I did also pick up when I picked up these movies was uh, one of these little, what is, what is it called, Cutie Mark Crew? I don't have any of these, but I've seen them in the stores and I love the design. I love the tiny little chibi figures, um, but this is some sort of, I don't even know what it was, it was just one of, I was in Walmart, because the gift card was for Walmart, I usually don't go to Walmart, because our Walmart is always just insane, and I don't know if it's that way, like, it sounds like it's that way in a lot of places, but it's just always ridiculous to go there, and you always have to wait in <laughs> so much line and there's so many people and it's just not worth it most days for me to go. I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna stay away from Walmart. Uh, but obviously, you know, you don't know, look a gift horse in the mouth. I went to Walmart to use the gift card and um, the there's just not that much My Little Pony stuff anymore because they're they're ending the show and they're ending the toy lines. <clears throat> Uh, so it was like one of the only things I saw. Of course, then I turned around and saw all the, the regular mini ponies. Um, but I had already picked this up and I'm, you know, trying not to spend too much money. Because <laughs> I did I did spend more than the amount of my gift card. So <laughs> that happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, these, these Cutie Mark crews, I, I don't have any of them and I think they're adorable. And I saw this and it was like the only thing and it was like maybe not where it was supposed to be but that's pretty typical of, of the Walmart toy aisle. Um, so we just grabbed it, and I was like, uh, I'm not even sure. Um, so I'm like, not even sure what all is in this, just that it is Cutie Mark Crew, and it's ages four and up. <laughs> so. All right, come on. Oh. I think it, oh, Cafeteria Cuties, uh, Collect All, 24. Because <laughs> it says Collect All in like four different languages and then 24, so I didn't read that as like a complete sentence. <laughs> and also, where are the scissors? Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's not watch me struggle with that. You sure? All right, let's just let's just go for it. Just gonna cut straight into that cardboard. Come on. This is more difficult to break into than I expected. So there's that. Okay, there's the plastic, and there's the cardboard. Jeez. Oh, so I guess the, the container is a little housing unit for them. Uh, as we know from Monster High, I love, I love ones that do that. 
Thanks. I just think it's nifty that the the casing is the display method instead of just entirely disposable. Oh, and it's got like a little like cup back there. I don't know. I don't know if that's showing up too good in this awful, awful lighting, but there's like a little little teacup flower. Like it's a teacup that is also a flower. I'm gonna look at the guide thing there. I can already see that I have a pinky pie, because I can see the pink. Oh, and she's in a teacup. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. So there's the little teacup. And it's got like a it's got tree patterning all around it and a little flower saucer. And then there oh she's a mer pony. Oh, look at her. Isn't she so freaking adorable? I have always loved sea ponies. Um which like thank goodness they brought those back. <laughs> I uh I obviously missed out on the original run. But it's it's nice that they've made some that they brought them back for the film so that they could make some. Um they did they did really just the characters from the show though. Um and I always I always kind of liked the old design where they were just sort of literally seahorses. <laughs> so um cuz I just that's that's so cute and clever. They were so good. Um but I also like they seem more like mer ponies to me now cuz sea ponies is because they were seahorses, but whatever. You know, we won't be too picky. Uh, but she sits in there and she's super cute. I love these. And she's waving. It's adorable. And then you put her you put her in her little display case. And there she is. And that can go right near my monster highs cuz that's what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> oh, oh, it popped open. That thing doesn't click closed good, huh? That's, um, the Monster High ones, like, when they click together and stuff, they actually are, like, really good and solid. Um, that's something I, <clears throat> ooh, commend the makers of those on, because that really works. I don't know. Oh, oh, they do. Oh, they cl I see now. This piece is like that, uh, because they click together. That's why the bottom is like that. So you can stack them, but they don't, they don't fit side to side because they're round. Um, which is maybe, I mean, it's fine, but it, it would also be cute if they clicked together through the side, but then they wouldn't be a cylinder. So whatever. But, um, yeah, and the, the little display cylinder has the logo on the back and a bunch of like little hearts and nonsense. That's super cute. I do not feel like I wasted my money. Um, uh, that sounded really sarcastic, but that was genuine. Um, I, I really like that, and I'm glad that I have it. It's super cute, and I, I'm excited to have my first uh, Cutie Mark Crew toy. Because I think these are, um, I think these are a really good revitalization of the the smaller pony format. Um, because the, the previous blend packs, which don't seem to have been entirely discontinued, or just the stock of them is, like, really large. Because they, I did turn around and they had a whole basket full of them at Walmart. Um, but, like, as much as I love those, like, having, having this new, like, even smaller and, like, chibi stuff going on is, is really nice. Like, they had the, the petite ones um, back in G3 that I have a few of still. Because uh, they were super cute, too. Oh, and look, the little thing is even customized which one you got. <laughs> it's a big picture of Pinkie Pie. Um, but it says, but yeah, just your general checkoff sheet, too. There's apparently 24. Oh, there's the 24 in this set. But then it says to also look for, like, a Twilight with a Sandcastle and... Fluttershy in a boat. Oh, these are sets. These are, okay, I get it. Those are the sets that you can buy that come with, like, specific ones and then also a mystery one. I see it, I see it. Because, yeah, it did say, it did say cafeteria cuties, right? So that's the line, I'm assuming. Because, 
Mm, yeah, because they're all food themed ish. There's uh, one with a little watermelon. I want to say that's cheerily, but I'm not sure that it's cheerily. Oh, I did not. I did not know this. Some of these are, I guess, technically Equestria girls because they're they're humanized. Uh, anth anthro, the, the anthropomorphized. Um, so I guess they're technically, some of these are Equestria girls. Because, like, there's, there's Sunset, Sunset Shimmer. Actually a really hard name to say. <laughs> Too many sh... Anyway. Um, <clears throat> oh, and she has a slice of pizza. I, I wouldn't have thought Sunset Shimmer and pizza, but sure. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to have the pizza. It looks like Rainbow Dash, there's a, there's a Mer Pony Rainbow Dash, there's a Sea Pony, I can't, I'm gonna keep calling them Mer Ponies because it just seems different than Sea Ponies. There's a Sea Pony Rainbow Dash with a sushi. Oh, uh, but yeah, so they're, they're all like food themed. Like, okay, the Sea Pony Pinkie Pie has the, the teacup, which... Seems to be no. Uh, there's there's two that are cups. Uh, there's also the Equestria Girls Fluttershy with what looks like a cup of hot chocolate. Oh, and the pony, the actual pony Twilight Sparkle with a uh, like a milk box. So okay, so there are there are drinks, but it's it's mostly food themed, and then a couple of drink themed ones in there. But yeah, I guess that's I guess it's why it's cafeteria cuties because it's food themed. Oh, there's a shining armor with a donut. That's adorable. I want that. But yeah, yeah. Some of these are technically Equestria girls too, and I did I did not know there were Equestria girl versions of these. And that's actually super adorable. I really quite like these. Um, I think these were. I think these are a good thing, um, honestly. Um, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know how long they're gonna continue because uh, it seems like everything is ending. Monster High is canceled. Ever After High has been canceled. Brats have been gone forever, and I'm just like, everything I liked is gone now. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm an old person, uh, comparatively, uh, and I'm not the target audience, and the target audience is not buying anymore, so things are uh, are changing. Because the, the kids who were, like, kids that grew up with those brands are too old for, like, they're in that space where they're too old for toys and, like, too young for nostalgia toys. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's an interesting shift happening in the market right now where Barbie... And a few, not even that many, it's not even as many Disney princess dolls as it used to be, I feel like, but it's just Barbie now. And like a couple of Disney princess dolls. And I'm just like, where did the doll selection go? Do kids not play with dolls anymore? And maybe they don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's all technology now, but whatever. <laughs> um, just things I'm noticing. And I'm just like, oh, that's sad because I liked a lot of those things. Um, but, yeah, stuff happens. And um, that's where I'm going to end this video today. Uh, thank you guys for catching up with me, and I apologize uh, for the past, present, and future of my unproductiveness. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye.